cracking up. Isn't that crazy? Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. Wow, guys, look at this weather. Rolling through on Houston, that's for sure. So before you drive out in weather like this, I think it's important to note that you should probably have like a scrap, silver, scrap, gold person in mind. If you don't, sometimes uh, call around before you drive around and waste your gas, etc. Um, just ask what percentage of scrap do they pay for silver and uh, gold, obviously. Uh, they will tell you over the phone, that way you don't gotta drive everywhere. Um, if they don't tell you, then it's a red flag, I wouldn't use them. Uh, but yeah, percentage of scrap is the question, and then there's some websites that I'll be showing you in just a second that you can kind of calculate what to expect. So here we go, guys. This is an example of a find that people don't realize. Maybe it's worth some money. Uh, you look underneath and you look for sterling or 925, etc. I don't know if I can show it to you on camera here, but let's see if you can find it. You'll probably see where it says sterling. Uh, not all of this is going to be sterling, but a lot of it is. Let me see here. If you can see it. Silver Japan EP. I don't think this one is. I think this is electroplated. Um, let me find another one. Here's one to learn. These candelabras are candle holders. They usually they're weighted. So even though you see that it says sterling, you'll see where it says weighted, I think it said. So I'm trying to show it to you. Yeah, I had it the right way, the right way. Sterling weighted. So what they'll do is they're gonna pop off these bottoms and there's like some like cement or plaster in there that makes it weight down. Some of this stuff isn't marked. I'm hoping that it is. <clears throat> um, this one's not marked. Some of these you'll see, they'll test them and confirm that they are just plated. But um, I think about 50% of this is. And now let me tell you how you look it up. All right, so what you're gonna do is just do like a Google search for silver scrap, silver scrap value. There's gold prices, there's silver prices, and then what you wanna say is a, a website, usually it'll calculate for you, and you'll just drop down, um, there'll be like some down arrows where you select how many grams, what kind of purity, and in my case, I put um, sterling silver 925. Make sure you don't put 99% real silver, because then you're gonna get a false um, quote on what your um, price is or calculation. Um, and then, obviously, whatever that number is, where they say the scrap value would be, then you gotta multiply that by, in my case, 80% or 75% or whatever the uh, person here will give you as far as scrap value. So, let's say it's $100, and you know that they give you 80%. So, even though it says the scrap value is worth 100, you can expect to get about 80 bucks for your silver. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go in right now. Um, after calculating it, um, I think for every 100 grams, I can expect about 80 bucks based upon uh, everything that I've looked at so far, as far as the Mac market value, what silver is trending at right now in value, etc. So let's go in here, maybe get a little bit of education on things to look for, maybe some other tidbits I forgot, and uh, let's see how much I get out of this. I spent 20 bucks out of everything you just saw and I'm hoping to get at least 100, um, probably more than that, I'm guessing. So let's find out. It and we're looking for blue, green is bad, blue or no color is good. What color is that? No, it's green, right? Okay, so what they're doing is basically, it's a silver plate varnish, and in order to really test it, they gotta basically file through the initial coating of the silver plate, and then they put their chemical test on it, and then that reacts to the actual silver. And so if it's showing a varnish, or it's showing, um, like, a blue is good, green is bad, and then no color is also good, but the green is a definite indicator that it's not uh, real silver, guys. We'll file it and then watch the green, guys. Right. And it's not, oh, by the way, when you go in and take your pocketbook with you. Is there green? You're probably going to see something. Oh, yeah. Okay. God bless me. All right. You too, see you later. That one didn't do the initial shock, but that one, of all of them, I thought somewhere. wouldn't be real, but. Like, where? Maybe that's a good question for her. I know. Golly.
All right, so here we go, guys. These are the ones that were weighted, so okay. he's gonna have to, well, he's gonna test them first, which I'm sure they'll pass the test, but then he's gonna have to pop he'll off the bottom. Right out. See how deep they it's not even the bottom. All this probably has all got stuff in it. Yeah. See, no green, guys. No green, but yeah. you can see, start to see the filler material in there. Yeah, so you can you see how thin down. the material is. Huh. There you go, guys. Moment of truth. So y'all can see what's inside this. Okay, see how thin this is, guys. Like, I mean, it all adds up on weight, but still. It's like foil, almost. You're right. Uh, and the back is 10 carats. That's what threw me off. So don't get deceived on weight whenever you think that you're going to have these. And then there's like the plaster or whatever it is. Does it just fall out or do you get the... It, fortunately, they don't use a material that sticks very well. Really? So you can tell this has been in there for a while then. Oh man, it's literally like peeling off silver there. Man, they went to town on this weight stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's literally like cracking off. Isn't that crazy? Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. That is the weighted part of the silver. Um, oh, but wait, there's more. So he has to peel off the top and there's more on top. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. So it was like 90% just plaster or whatever it looks like. Isn't that crazy? Do you ever get anybody that's like upset because they think that they're gonna get a certain amount and then, and then you start showing them the truth? Like, look at that crap. You're not getting, you're not cashing in on silver on that, guys. All right, so we found this would be interesting. Before, the weight was 328 grams of silver just in this one candelabra, right? So we're gonna see how much silver is actually on it. So after all the work is done, 328 into only 28 grams, guys. So 300 of it was that. Plastic. All right, y'all, so this is funny. They gave me a hammer and in this, like, I guess the handle is silver, but the inside they say has plaster. So I'm outside this place and I'm gonna hammer this and see if I can get it on video. So I'm gonna hammer this so I can get... Yeah, he's absolutely right. There's like plaster like falling out. Look at this, can y'all see it? It's like plaster just falling out of the handle, even though it's real silver. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yep. But it's still gonna have some weight. But I think I got most of it out. It just dumped out literally. Isn't that interesting? All right y'all, so after all is said and done, turning 20 bucks into $171. There was a few pieces that they, um, I had to put back that they were on the fence on, but apparently it scared them enough where they weren't going to take the chance, but 171 out of $20, not a bad flip. So keep your eyes out for silver scrap guys.